Hey, I'm Becca with the Happy Ever Crafter, and in this video I'm going to show you two really easy ways to draw a daisy. So we're going to do one that's open and from the top, and one that's sort of off to the side a little bit on a different angle. I'm going to walk you through step by step with each one. By the way, I also have free step-by-step -step worksheets for each of these flowers that I'm doing in this floral series. So if you want to check those out, you can grab them down below. And let's jump right in. So for tools in this video, I'm using Micron pens. These are kind of my favorite um, fine liner pens. I have size one, three, and five. If you don't have Micron pens or if you just have a normal like ballpoint pen or something super simple kicking around, feel free to use that. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you're feeling like you want to use a pencil to get started too, you can absolutely do that. There's nothing wrong with it. I have a pencil here because I'm going to do a couple little outline things with pencil. And then for paper, I'm using Rhodia paper. This is just a paper that I have a lot of and I'm totally happy with this one. It's a nice quality paper, but again, it can be absolutely anything. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So the first thing I'm going to do for the flat on version of the daisy, the one that's open right from the top, is draw a couple different sized circles. So for this one, you're just going to draw a small circle and one a little bigger around it and then one much larger. They don't have to be perfect circles. Just roughly drawing that in. And you might notice that this sort of looks like something suggestive, <laughs> but I swear it's gonna be a flower. <laughs> and you know what? I'm actually gonna draw one more circle around this one, and you'll see why in a minute. So that's my basic shape. Next, I'm gonna take my Micron pen and I'm gonna use the size 03 first and I'm gonna start drawing in the basic shapes. So first you're gonna go around the edge here and you're gonna draw around that circle just kind of like a really jagged line. And same thing with these ones in the middle here. Then you're gonna use that same pen and you're gonna just start drawing sort of circle, circular shapes. It doesn't have to be perfect little circles. You're just gonna start drawing them in the center and it can be like a half half drawing circles and half scribbling you're going to start drawing these in each of these rings here all right so we've drawn in the center of our flower and we can come back and add a little more detail to that later but now i'm going to start drawing the petals so you're essentially going to work your way around the circle it doesn't have to be perfect, but what I want you to think about is drawing some petals that aren't totally perfect and that don't fully close in the center. So I don't want them to look like this. You want them to be more of like a squared off shape, slightly tapering as they come into the middle. And you don't necessarily have to start them all right up against each other. You can leave a little gap if you want to. And if it helps you to rotate your paper as you do this, you can do that as well. Again, they don't have to be super perfect. They don't all have to be exactly the size of your circle. It's up to you if you wanna make them the exact size of your circle. Or you can make them a little bigger or a little smaller. You want them generally to all be around the same length, but they don't have to be exact. All right, so there's my general outline. And now I'm gonna start adding in the pieces that would come in behind it. So same thing, you're just imagining as if you have another petal behind this one. Again, the same length, and it would look as if it's behind it, but you're only gonna show the part that's peeking out. So if it helps you to draw those in in pencil first, by all means, you could do that. Or you can just imagine where they would land. And again, you don't want them to be super perfectly overlapping in the middle of each petal. You can have some that sort of hide behind more of one than the other. Then once you have your outline done, you can erase your pencil marks. 
And then you're gonna take your size 01, or again, if you're using the same size pen this whole time, just press a little bit lighter, because now we're gonna add in the detail lines. So you're just gonna start in the center of your flower and start bringing some lighter lines out towards the edges, different lengths. And again, you wanna make sure that these lines are not perfectly straight. See how mine are sort of curving as they come into the middle? Or as they go out to the edge, sorry and they don't have to be perfect. So I'm just doing all the ones on the front here first. One thing to note too, is if you have any petals that you want to look like they're curving or like they're bending a certain way. So let's say for example, this one that's already naturally sort of bending to the side, you can embellish that by bringing your line and then sort of carrying it to the side as you get up to the top. So curving the lines will make the petal look like it's curving a little bit. You don't want to do that on every single petal because daisies actually sort of tend to have pretty straight leaves a lot of the time, or petals, not leaves. So I've done all the ones on the front and now I'm going to add a couple detail lines on the ones in the back. You'll notice that I like to add detail lines sort of like right in the edges where the leaves are overlap or the petals are overlapping. Um, I find this adds a nice amount of contrast and gives you a little bit of the idea that the ones behind have a little bit of shadow on them. Again, not overthinking it, just doing some basic shading. So we've got the basic outline and the shading in our flower. Now I'm gonna take my 05 micron and I'm gonna add some more contrast. So I'm gonna go around each of the petals with my darker pen, really trying to follow those original lines so that they don't get too, too thick. And then I'm gonna go back into my center and try and bring out those original three edges that we had drawn in earlier. So give them a little bit of a darker line again. And you can start to fill in some extra circles kind of around those edges. Again, just little circles or scribbles. It just kind of makes the center of the flower look like it's got some dimension. And then lastly, I'll add a little bit more contrast again, sort of where the leaves are or the petals are overlapping each other. So just add a couple more faint lines in each overlap. And that's it for the straight on daisy. Next, we're gonna do the really similar sort of thing, except this time I wanna show it sort of angled as if it's off to the side. So for this one, what you're gonna do is again, start off with a circle, except you're gonna do it as more of an oval. That's a little too big. Be here all day if I drew a flower that big. So you're gonna draw your oval. And then you're gonna draw another oval inside it sort of same general shape, except you want it to be a little closer to the bottom than to the top. And you can also do your multiple little uh, ovals inside that one as well. Just general shapes for now. Then again, I'm gonna take my 03 and I'm gonna draw my center. So jagged line around the center and each level of that. and scribble in my circles. OK, 
Okay, so I've got my basic center. And now I'm gonna draw my petals. So when you're looking at it from the side, you wanna imagine that the petals looking at you from far, the farthest away look shorter. So it's if you're looking at a flower, the stuff that's open in the back is gonna actually be a little bit higher. And that's sort of hard to explain, but when you start drawing it, you wanna think about these petals really being shortened and they can open out in sort of different directions. And you can have some that are sort of curving down. And then once you hit about the halfway mark along this circle, if it helps, you can draw a line for yourself, then they're gonna start opening up again. So whether you wanna start at the edges where you left off, or if you wanna do some right from the middle, that's up to you. So I'm gonna start back up here. And you're just doing a similar thing to what we did up here. So adding in your petals, following around the shape of that circle. And again, you can add in the ones in behind. So you've got the general shape of your flower. And if it helps, if this looks strange in your head at the moment, one thing that I find makes it make a little more sense in my head is to draw the stem on. So your stem is gonna be coming from down here, obviously. And if you just do it like slightly curved, it makes sense when you look at this flower now that it's sort of off to the side a little bit and you're looking at it from the front on with it angled. So now I'm gonna take my point one and I'm gonna do my shading lines the exact same way as we did the first time. Again, remembering with petals like this one that it's bending down and you wanna curve your detail lines to the sides to follow it. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing again with the five, the bigger pen, and add our detail and our contrast. So I'm gonna go around each petal. Then adding in behind where all the petals are overlapping. A little more detail again. And going around each of the ovals in the center, adding a little more dimension to those. Lastly, of course, erase your pencil. And that's it for your side view, Daisy. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to grab the worksheets down below if you wanna do this on your own. And also make sure that you subscribe because I release two new videos a week on my YouTube channel. Speaking of which, if you want to do more floral drawing, I also have a video on how to do two different types of peonies, so you should watch that one next, and I'll see you next time.